How would you like to eat delicious scrambled eggs for breakfast, but it will contain only plant ingredients? Scrambled tofu is one of the first dishes that I learned how to make. It replaced those eggs, and you can make variations which are delicious, like kale, mushroom, and bell pepper. But over the years, I've been tweaking the recipe so it tastes like scrambled eggs. And you'll get some next on Country Life. Country life, country life, how I love to live it, country life farm, the grass is green, the trees are tall, life is sweet at country life farm. We're first going to do our mise en place, making sure we have all the ingredients. We're going to make fresh onions, extra virgin olive oil, firm tofu, instead of chicken bouillon. You can learn how to make your own by going to their recipe. Nutritional yeast bakes, onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, plain unsweetened soy milk. I got this from Trader Joe's. Fresh black pepper, red onion flakes, Kala Malak, which is black salt. You can purchase it in an Indian store or you can have it sent to you by Amazon. Its addition really makes it taste just like eggs. Just make sure you put it at the end or it loses its flavor. You can use regular white salt if you don't have black salt, but we highly recommend it. Finally, fresh chives. You can use dry chives or green scallions. We're also going to use our measuring cups and spoons, a plastic spatula, a frying pan, and a wooden spoon. We're going to make two servings. If you need to make more, purchase our cookbook as soon as it's ready, which will have all the items written out for two times, four times, etc. for your convenience. You're first going to chop your onions one quarter inch long. Place pan on a medium length height. While it's heating, you're going to take your tofu and cut it in four parts. Take a quarter slice and add it to the blender. Add one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of nutritional flakes, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes, two teaspoons of onion powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one eighth teaspoon of turmeric powder, and three quarter cups of unsweetened soy milk. Come back and pour your oil in the pans. Next you're going to add your onion. And begin to heat it. Cover your lid. Turn it on low, and then high. We like to use our Cuisinart blender, but you can use another blender. Stir your onions well from time to time. You want them done, but you don't want them overdone. When your onions are done, you can add the rest of the tofu to the plate. Take a potato masher and smash it. You want to smash not too small, but you want it to look like scrambled eggs. Stir it all together.
when it's all nice and hot, you're going to take your ingredients and you're going to pour it in. Make sure it's all in there. Make sure it's all mixed. Let it come back to a boil. Now you want to mix in your black pepper. I don't know why people use ground black pepper. It tastes so perfect when it's freshly ground. Stir in your red pepper. Your kalamanak. You can sprinkle in your dried chives fresh chives or spring green onions, but I like to do it at the end. When it's all mixed well like that, turn it off and serve it. Now sprinkling your dried chives or fresh chives. This is the wonderful scrambled tofu. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious. You can have this wonderful dish as much as you like. Don't believe what some people say about tofu. It's a great food invented by the Chinese for over 2,000 years. It tastes great, has no cholesterol, is great for your health, and no animal needed to suffer for you to enjoy your breakfast. Thank you for coming by and watching this show. Tell us in the comments what you liked about it, and if this video has helped you. If you haven't yet, do subscribe and hit the subscribe button below. And please be sure that you hit the thumbs up. These really help us to show you more vegan food. I'll see you at Country Life.